welcome back to time with me time with me my team khale if you're a return subscriber welcome back if you're new to my channel welcome to you too while we're here don't forget to click on subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get a notification every single time i post a video and follow my socials let's be friends on social media so as you guys can see by the title of today's video i am going to be explaining how the education system works as you earn no pay in america i don't know how it works in europe or in australia i'm going to be speaking based on the fact that i know being in a pay in america because it is different comparing to every other country and all their laws and just also clarify do, i do recommend that you do do your research because i'm going to be speaking based on my knowledge and also based on my experience so when need be please do your research i'm going to be speaking based on what i know because many people have been asking me to make this video and i thought that i should be able to do it and i know that it's very fitting that i'm wearing a harvard t-shirt but no i'm not in harvard i'm explaining everything that i know about education and as, as an au pair and also the education classes and i'm going to be looking down and looking at my notes so that i do not forget anything so if you do join an au pair program with any agency that is you know obviously in america that your host family has to provide you with 500 dollars towards your education now this is towards your education classes okay and you have to acquire six credits at the end of your education or 72 hours i think you may be getting in six credits or 72 hours and i'm going to be explaining that further so i'm going to be speaking about two types of education that you're able to get you're able to go and do in-person classes or you're able to go and do online obviously you have to get six credit at the end of it and six credit is not a lot and 500 dollars is also not a lot because school in america is very expensive so 500 dollars we're able to pay for maybe one class or if you split it into two you're able to do 250 and 250 for one which makes 500 dollars at the end but you do have to make sure that at the end of all of this you do acquire six credits or you do acquire 72 hours depending on which route you decide to take so we're speaking first on in-person classes so obviously with in-person classes you do have to do your research and find a college or university nearby to you and inquire if they will be able to take in or pairs because not all universities or colleges do take in or pairs because schooling is very expensive and for or pairs it's going to be have to be a different price because we are pairs, they know that our budget, they know our schedules, and it is quite difficult. So you'll have to do your research if you're going to be wanting to do in-person classes. You can to another pair and she does in-person classes. And with her in-person classes, what she did, she did her research. She found a college nearby where she stays. And what she did, she did all the classes. So all the classes are classes that are usually catered for au pairs. And with all the classes, you don't have to write exams. You don't have to do the homework. And you're not required to do assignments all you have to do is pay show up and be there for the classes and you'll be able to get your credits or certificate at the end of you know the duration of the class so with classes classes usually last up to a month or two months depending on the classes that you do take it is your choice if you want to be doing six credits only but if you want to be doing more than the six credits then obviously you'll have to pay with that from your own pocket sometimes classes maybe are like six hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars depending on the class that you are taking and your host family isn't obligated to pay for that remaining two hundred dollars that you have to pay as long as they've paid that five hundred dollars that they needed to pay that's fine but some families are nice and they'll be able to pay the remaining amount let's say i did touch on um order classes I do strongly advise you if you want to be doing in-person classes obviously first speak to your host family and see if they are comfortable with you being able to do in-person classes because obviously with in-person classes you can't be having a schedule that starts at 7 a.m and ends at 5 p.m but then you want to be going to school it doesn't work with your schedule so obviously if it does make a lot more sense if you if your kids go to school by nine o'clock and you have the whole day to yourself and they come back at 3 then in between that time you will be able to go to classes please do do your research and look for a local community or um look look for a local community college or school nearby you that will be able to accept or pairs because not all schools do accept or pairs because of the price that we pay because obviously a course is like a lot of money and sometimes classes do cost like maybe one thousand dollars or one point two thousand dollars depending on where you're taking your classes but sometimes if you are lucky your classes will be much more affordable speaking on about online classes so i'm going to be speaking also based on my experience i did do online classes and i did two courses i did advertising and marketing and i also did social media management what i use i use classroom or pair they are under the hudson college in new york city if i'm not mistaken i'm going to be leaving the link down below for any au pair or anybody that's looking to you know go and get some credits from them because they do have a wide variety of class selections that you're able to choose from i remember there's like netflix classes there's english classes there's spanish there's basic french advertising and marketing cooking youtube and podcasting 
crime there's just so many classes to choose from oh and you're also able to go to disney and hawaii but i know with the disney and hawaii ones those ones are like kind of like a vacation but you're also learning they're a week long and they're like 1200 and 1200 dollars and obviously your host family will be able to pay for the first 500 dollars and the other remaining money you'll have to pay for on your own and if you're going to be wanting to do the traveling classes you'll first have to speak with your host family and ask them if they're fine with you being able to go on those particular dates but with my online classes i did my first set of classes back in march march april i forgot what i did instead of doing one class that cost 500 dollars i broke up my classes and i did 250 which was three credits for the social media and um social media management and then 250 in september for the advertising and marketing online classes for classroom or pair duration of 30 days and they class they start at the beginning of the month and they end at the end of the month and for the first two days of the weekend at the beginning of the month you are required to attend those classes to show that you have attended your classes and then once you know during those classes your lecturer briefs you about what's going to be happening that semester not the semester Mr. but during the duration of the class during the 30 days of the class they brief you about your assignments everybody gets to know each other everybody gets to talk and then they explain all your assignments that you're going to be doing for the duration of the month so obviously you're not going to be meeting your lecturer or teacher or your lecturer every single week so what you have to do is do assignments you have assignments assigned to you every single week you do get a package of your assignments at the beginning of the of the month before the classes start it is up to you whenever you want to be finishing your assignments you can finish your assignments before the due date you can finish your assignments literally on the due date but it always is preferred that you do submit all your assignments two days before the course ends let's say your classes start on the 28th of september while well, the 28th of march um, 28th of March 2021 they're going to be finishing on the 28th or the 30th of April the next month so it is a duration of 30 days it gives you time to finish all your assignments and you have to submit them the lecturers do get back to you and they tell you assignment that you need to fix what you need to redo what you need to resubmit it is always important that you do submit all your assignments before the time or before the due date that they are due they're able to tell you what you're able to do again because you can fail class by missing something in an assignment something like literally small and basic and also helps you to also you know be able to be a student too i don't know i honestly enjoyed like being able to submit my assignments and being able to speak to my lecturers and ask them hey i need help with this what can i do here what can i improve on and these classes are quite easy they do require a lot of your time that's why if you know during your free time just being able to take time being able to do assignments being able to work on them i know that the very demanding um class that i had was advertising and marketing advertising and marketing was very demanding from me it was demanding in the sense of i was trying to finish my assignments before the due date like two weeks before the due date because i was going on my vacation and i also wanted it to be good and it just demanded a lot because you had to do a lot of research and you had to make sure that everything is fine and obviously you're not going to try and copy from the internet you don't have like a turn it in but then you're not going to be trying to copy from the internet so there is that i did enjoy my classes my experience on the classes was very good because with my schedule while during my free time i was able to work on my assignments and i wasn't stressed or worried about anything so for me personally the classes did work well for me i don't i did enjoy the advertising and marketing one and i also enjoyed the social media and management and i honestly did those because obviously i am here i'm doing youtube and i also have an instagram so i was just like maybe being able to let me understand how instagram works and how being able to do these things and you're able to also get a job do the credits i was able to get even though it's like only three credits but those three credits can take you a long way because you'll be able to put those and paste those onto your cv now how does the graduation work for the online classes i don't know how the graduation works for the in-person classes but then for the online classes you get a certificate at the end of the month once you've completed all your assignments and you submitted all of them and you just get an email telling you that okay you've got a certificate and what you do with your certificate is really up to you obviously be able to print it and obviously want to paste it onto your profile as your au pair profile to show that you have completed your certain credits and then these are like the credit ones and then there's also our online classes so with our online classes instead of them writing inform that you've gotten credits or three credits or two credits they're going to be writing that you got like for example 36 credits or 72 credits depending on the course that you're going to be doing i know that my friend did tell me that for her photography class they worked in forms of hours and with the hour one they do say that you you know you had 36 hours they that 36, that 36 hours is going to be accounted for when it's written in your certificate and i also know for example with the english classes with the language classes where you're learning a new language you will have to attend weekend classes each and every single weekend for the duration of the 30 days because obviously learning a new language is demanding and obviously they'll need to check on you you guys will need to have conversations with each other you guys will need to always speak with your lecturer because obviously learning a new language is very demanding 
Monday. So with those classes, I know that you do assignments during the week and weekend, do um, assignments, and then you have class every weekend. That is the knowledge that I know about um um the online classes but i honestly hope that this video is able to help somebody as i did state please do do your research on the online classes on the in-person classes as i said i'm going to be leaving the links down below to the classes that i use this is the knowledge that i know because many people do ask me are you able to do medicine are you able to decide like a unisa type of vibe if you want to be doing like a unisa type of studying you can do it. that's if your schedule allows and that's if you'll be able to do it but if you want to do like medicine for example or like actual in-person classes obviously you have to speak with your host family about that and that is literally a whole different visa because it will require you to be in full-time school because it does require and demand a lot of attention from me some of pairs are able to do actual schooling depending on the money because school is expensive but what some of pairs do to this is only if you're lucky not every host family will do this for you but what some host families do for you i don't know how the conversations go honestly wish i knew how the conversations go with host families but then you just talk to your host families and you tell them that you know you want to be doing um, psychology then they'll be able to fund you be able to study psychology at like maybe a nearby college or a nearby university they will be funding you with obviously they're going to be paying your education for you sometimes people are lucky and they're able to get a scholarship but then you also have to change your visa into an f1 visa and changing your if your visa into an f1 visa is a whole process you'll have to do that while you're still obviously in your pair program but you'll obviously not be you'll obviously not be in the exchange program visa anymore because the J1 visa is an exchange program visa so you'll have to change your visa into an F1 visa and the conversations go but then obviously you'll have to change your visa from a, from a J1 visa into an F1 visa and then once you've changed that it, it is a very long tedious process you don't have to go back home to do it some people do decide to go back home that's if they're not going to be getting any funding from their host families but then people that do get funding from their host families in terms of education they do change their visas into an F1 visa their host family still provides them with a home with everything they don't they no longer become au pairs to the family but then they do become live in nannies the family will still pay you a stipend now the stipend really does depend on the family and the agreement that you guys do make and then they'll be able to pay for your studying for all your schooling obviously with the books and stuff i don't know how that works i think that you pay for that on your own as i said i'm not very knowledgeable about this this is what i know about this and then you also have to be able to pay for schooling for you some people are lucky and they're able to get a scholarship and just being able to prove that you know your host family is going to be paying for you you know more working under an au pair you, you basically live in nanny for the people but as i said that's if only you're lucky and you find a great family that is able and willing to do that for you as i said each and every single family is different obviously you can't go into the au pair program with the intention of okay the family that i'm going into is going to be paying for my schooling as i did state i do not know the conversations behind it this is hap this only happens for some people depending on the host family that they have and y'all guys as i say please do do your research and find out more au pair classes that you're able to do about more online classes that you're able to do about being able to do in-person classes nearby talk to your lcc talk to the program that you're in because sometimes when you get into the au pair program they don't want you to be in school though to the fact that they want you to be fully focused and committed to the family and also focused into the program because they have that stress of obviously if you're going to be doing school because school is very demanding now you won't be able to focus on kids so if you're going to be doing obviously online classes you'll always have to juggle the two and as i said if you want to be doing online classes on your own on the side like something that you're studying or like just being able to learn and expand your education like maybe doing general psychology classes that you're providing through your own pocket and you know and your host and you're done with your credits you're able to do that on your own if you just want to be studying in your free time you're able to do that but just make sure that it does not interfere with your work schedule and with your work life then everything will be okay i honestly hope that this video was able to help somebody out there i understand that this video was informative i tried to explain it to the best of my ability as i did state this is from what i know and based on my experience and my knowledge and to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends about it and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye.